Hey, cellists. I am now live. Yay. Cello guru Marcy Brown here. I should make myself smaller, dare I? There. I'm there, and now I'll be able to see your chats. Who's here? Who's coming in today? Come on, cellist. Listen, I want to read you guys a quote from an anonymous TCI student yesterday. You know who you are, TCI student. Okay. In case you're thinking about possibly joining T Total Cello Immersion, here's the quote. I am extremely happy with my progress. My own playing makes me happy now. In this year, I have made more progress than I did in the last 10 years. Woo! Is that the goal of total cello immersion? It is! One total cello immersion student. Definitely happy, at least yesterday. Hopefully this person feels the same way every day. Okay, hi Claire, Claire's here. Yay. All right. People will be coming in or they won't be coming in, but we are going to do a Cello Nation live today. Everybody write in the comments. If you're watching this, you're getting value out of it, write in the comments. If you're watching it later, please write in the comments. It's so much more fun when I know what's happening. Okay. All right. Now we are going to talk about positions for a minute. I'm going to get my cello out seems to always be out, but here it is. Today we're going to play both of the pieces that we already played, okay? So we're going to play Swallowtail and we're going to play Oh Susanna. Now, Oh Susanna was in thumb position, remember? And Swallowtail was in first position and fourth position, okay? So let's just talk about first position for a minute. Here it is. I'm really little, but that's okay. Um, Claire, you got your cello out? Might just be Claire and me today, which is okay. I think it's 8 p.m. where Claire is right now. I think, Claire, were you in Glasgow? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Sorry, it's a good education for me. Is it 8 p.m. there? I'm starting to learn what time it is everywhere in the world, and also I'm starting to get places to visit and see people and have local people there that I can visit. How cool is that? It's gonna be really cool when I get to Scotland. Okay, so we're not talking about bow hand, so my bow hand can be lower. All right, so first position. I want your elbow not up too high, not down too low, holding a tennis ball. This is key. Remember, you do not want this bent. It's just like in tennis. Well, I was always taught my mom used to walk around the house going like this. <laughs> Actually, when she wanted to, to try to hit us as little kids, she didn't, but she would threaten. She used to go like this. <laughs> uh, go, Gothland, Gothland, Gothland. That sounds like um, we have a we have um, Batman. Do you have Batman, Claire? They live in Gotham, but yours is Gotham. 7 p.m., wine o'clock, she says. All right, nice, I like that. <laughs> Here it's 11, okay? So we're talking about positions. All right, I got sidetracked. Okay, elbow is where you're comfortable. You don't wanna feel any tension right here. If I break it, it just feels really tense and bad. So you wanna set it where there's no tension, okay? <laughs> And then, since we're going to be doing swallowtail, we're going between first and fourth positions, okay? This is position month, all right? So, let's do a practice between first and fourth positions, okay? You ready, Claire? We're going to go from first to fourth position. We're going to have fourth finger, fix your open D, fourth finger, and then just drop it. Here's your E, okay? You can find it like this. Okay, back to first position. D to E. So you can do that. 
that without playing the schmear and try to hit it, your hand should be the same as it is in first position, exactly the same. You just need to drop it, okay? And then, now we're gonna make a schmear. first finger, make your bow, your bow's going to pull your left hand up, so pull, and then drop it to first finger, then you're going to at some point put fourth finger down, so that you're sliding with fourth finger, okay, let's over practice, which is something that we always do, we're going to go on the D string, fourth finger, fourth finger, Slide up to fourth position. And you can check with your open string. You getting that? G string. Someone else is here. Who else is here? Write in the comment who else is here. Fourth finger, first position. Okay, and then C string. Right? Fourth finger's F on your C string. We're sliding from first finger, I mean first position to fourth position. Fourth finger to first finger. Now on your C string, you're going to have to come around a little bit more, right? G string, D string, A string. A little bit of a body sweep as you move across the strings, okay? Your fingers are rounded. They're in the position that you will be playing in, right? Those are your notes. Elbows up a little bit, but not too high. So that's first to fourth position. If you want to do the PSSR on that, you have to identify your problem, identify your solution. Hi, Darlene. Portland, yay! Identify your problem, your solution, the steps you need to take, and the result, P-S-S-R. So the problem is we find one problem. The problem is I can't seem to get in tune from fourth finger to first finger. Problem, okay? Solution, let's make it in tune. That's the solution, easy, right? How do we do that? Steps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five times in a row perfectly. Those are the steps, okay? And then we're gonna do it on all four strings. That's over practicing, okay? I know I'm going fast here, but I don't wanna be on here too long. I don't wanna get to the pieces, okay? This is super important. five times in a row perfectly. That's why, darling, it's incredible. First note is in tune. Fourth time. That was good. Fifth one. Okay, how'd you guys do on that? I want you guys to do that then on the next string, the next string, and the next string. This is a PSSR. Okay, this is a system that is going to raise the level of your playing way, way, way higher if you do PSSR every day, okay? All right. So, no one's telling me how they're doing, but Claire and Darlene are both on here. That's cool. And now we have a third viewer. What? You see how popular this class is? I don't know who the third viewer is. Write in the comment who you might be, because it's always fun to see what everybody's saying and how you're doing on this so far, okay? So, does everybody have Swallowtail? 
get swallowtail out, we're going to do it, okay? We're going to do a slow version of it, and then we're going to do faster, all right? The form of swallowtail is A, A, B, B, okay? A, A, B, B. Just means you repeat the first part, and then you do the second part, okay? <laughs> note in tune. You ready? Swallowtail, the Irish jig. So everybody at home, stop the video and get your music out. Stop it right now. Put your music on the stand and get ready. And then come back and we'll start, okay? So this is in 6-8. I'm going to give you five beats and we're going to come in on the sixth beat like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Get your fourth finger ready. Get your elbow around, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Later on, if you're watching this later, let me know if you're able to play it, okay? And what's going on with that? It's kind of pretty when you play it really slow, this part. <laughs> right? Even though it might sound more like, um, I don't know, like, um, not like a swallowtail. I think a swallowtail might be fast. I don't even know what a swallowtail is. It means a bird. All right which means it should be fast. So let's do it faster. One, two, one, two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in six, eight, conductors will conduct in two when it gets faster. One, two, one, two. And that's broken down like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means we come in on the sixth beat, right? So get your bow ready. Get it on the string. Probably can't see my bow. Okay, you ready? So one, two, three, four, five. well then we can start to next month work on some of the chords for this how to play chords and this is in the key that Vanessa 
NASA so wonderfully figured out was E. Dorian, which is just a title for how, you know, the notes we're playing with. It's in the key of D major, but our main chord is E, E minor, because it's in minor, okay? But these are things that we can figure out maybe next month if we work on this um, or another tune like it. We're going to start working on some chord chart stuff, okay? All right, how come no one's replying anything in the chat? Are you guys there? Okay. So now let's do um, O Susanna, okay? So this is the thumb position one, all right? So when you practice your thumb position, remember, this is a D scale up here, right? When you're in thumb position, you have to be closer to the bridge to get the same amount of sound you get down here. I realize that I am cut off. Maybe I need to move back. Here's your D scale starting open D. I want you to look at this thumb to one to two. They're equidistant from each other. Thumb to one is about the same distance as one to two because they're both whole steps. This one's close, third finger. And then you go thumb, same thing, one, two, three. Exact same setup, okay? This is Rick Mooney's position number one, I think, in his thumb position book, which is the book we're using for this. Rick Mooney thumb position, okay? This piece is going to be O Susanna, but let's play our scale first. Ready? Go. Darlene says eighths are okay, sixteenths not so much. Yeah, I fell off on the sixteenths a little, Darlene. That's our, that's our work, right? Let's do this again up here. Thumb, remember? Thumb is across two strings. Notice my shoulder's down, my arm's forward. This is this way. It's not broken in the air, or it's not this way. This line has integrity when we play the cello, if you can do it, because otherwise this is going to hurt you, okay? And you don't have any leverage to push the strings down from here. This shoulder weight drops is much better. So we're going to do your D scale again. You ready? Ready? Go. And you'll notice that when I'm up here, my bow is down closer to the bridge. Because you have to be close to the bridge when you're up here. The string is shorter. When I'm down here, I'm more in the middle. When I go up here, I get closer to the bridge. Okay, now let's do eighth notes. You ready? I can't. Can't 
from Ontario. Yay. So I actually see the chat from here. Sorry, guys. Um, nice to see you here. Okay, we're about to do O Susanna in thumb position. Okay, we did it a couple weeks ago. We're going to do it all month. All right? Eighth notes on this, like one and two and. Okay, and if it's too fast, just do it slower, right? But the main thing is keep the integrity of your thumb. If you can't find it, it's exactly halfway between your bridge and where the, the string is cut off here, okay? Let's do it again. We're going to do eight notes. Ba, 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 ba. Ready? Go. Good. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's fine. Just goof around with it. That's what we're doing up here. I don't want you to be shocked if you've never done thumb position and then you see someone else doing it in an orchestra or something. You're like, what the heck is going on? That's what happens to all of us. So I want you to know about it, okay? You can rest your arm on here. Now we're going to do O2. O is thumb in this case. Thumb, two. Interesting. So they have, Rick Mooney has O Susanna in all different keys. What key do you guys have O Susanna in? I thought we had it in the key of, in the key of D last week. Maybe I'm missing it. Hold on. Where is O Susanna? Page eight. Yeah, that's thumb position pattern one. So Rick's got it in many different keys. Okay, here it is in the key of D for you guys, okay? All right, so that means we're gonna set up. Just get ready, get your hand ready, okay? It's gonna be like a scale, right? You guys ready? So we're gonna start with the up bow, get your bow on the string. Make sure your bow is closer to the bridge than you would normally be, okay? We're going to do thumb one, two, real slow. One, two, three. Okay, 
really needs to be relaxed, okay? Because you can really hurt yourself doing this, okay? I'm trying to get all my weight over the middle of my cello as opposed to down here when I play down here. How's everybody doing with this? Kent from Oshawa, Ontario. Are you playing it? Are you able to play it? Carolina, are you able to play this? Everybody later who's doing this, write in the comments, okay? This is a live session, live, 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 even if you're watching it later. Okay, let's do it a little bit uh, faster. You guys ready? You put your bow on the string. This is what I noticed yesterday. With my more advanced class, my PCI2 class, when I played with them and we got ready, they were, I could see them. I could see them in their video. They were like totally ready to come in when it was, when I was giving the beat. My um, PCI1 class, whom I love and who are amazing musicians, but maybe oh, some of them haven't played with any groups or many groups. Um, when it was time to go, they were not ready. They were like this. <laughs> so get your bow up, get it ready. So that when I say one, two, three, you're ready, okay? Your hand's ready, everything's ready. Okay, so one, two, three. this month you're gonna be getting better okay that's why I wanted to give you positions all right what do you guys have to say any takeaways from today because this is going to be done in a minute there's four people in here what's your takeaway you guys are quiet my takeaway is I need to practice oh Susanna a little bit faster so I can feel like a fiddler yep 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 you guys are mute all right that doesn't matter write in the comments later if you guys are watching this okay all right guys 
over and out. I'd like to see more of you on the Cello Nation lives. There's 380 people on Cello Nation. There's four of you here today. All right, just saying. This is a chance for you to come in and ask questions. You say that you want to learn the cello. I'm here, guys. I'm here for everyone in Cello Nation, but you do have to show up. Okay? Alrighty, if you show up a little bit, your results are going to be very little. If you show up a lot, your results will be big, right? Darlene says, thank you. Marjorie says, oh, Marjorie. Oh, Marge. Hi, Marge. Need to practice. Okay, Marge, you watch this back, and you can practice along with it, right? Yay. Claire says, Swallowtail, do you bar the first finger? Yes. Good question, Claire. Yes. Just bar it, because otherwise you'll have to do this. You can do that, but this is much easier, right? See how it works for you. See if you can coordinate it better. Okay, guys, I'm going to see you next Thursday, or I will see you in Cello Nation Live. Bring questions. We're going to do positions. I'm going to post a new piece, and we'll be doing three pieces next week, okay? Yay, so fun. All right, I will see you guys next week. Everybody go practice, because that's what we do, because we're cellists. Bye now.